This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Colonial Heights. Today we're going to take a look at a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. This home is located here towards the end of a subdivision, and we actually have amazing curb appeal here. This is the first time I've been in this Colonial Heights subdivision, and on my way in, I noticed that there is actually a park and a boat slip that is less than a half a mile from here. So if you are a uh, type of person that likes to go uh, hang out at the park or if you have a boat this may be an excellent location super convenient and uh, this home has some very unique features that I'm going to share with you that it's been a long time since I've seen uh, features like this and um, you're definitely going to be in for a real treat we can see here we have a nice driveway here you get two cars uh, definitely up through the fence uh, beautifully landscaped and I'm actually going to take you, we're going to take you around back first so you can see uh, exactly what we have back here. Uh, this is actually a great floor plan for entertaining and they've done some amazing work. This actually is a property that's been recently renovated. Special thanks to listing agent Stephanie Johnson, one of my favorite agents here in the Metro Richmond area. Uh, she's kind enough to allow us in to take a look. As you can see, we've got a privacy fence here uh, throughout this entire back. And uh, the back of the house looks actually just as good as the front. We've got a nice deck there with a composite material there for nice low maintenance living. And the home does have a gutter guard system. Gutter guards are amazing because they will of course prevent you from having to go up and clean gutters, uh, keep those leaves and debris uh, out of those gutters uh, all year round. Of course, our side entry garage, we're gonna be able to go downstairs and uh, take a look at it when we go in. And the reason they have the side entry is because of the slope. Notice we are lower here on this side of the house than we are on the other side. And that allows us to be able to uh, drive in to that garage uh, on that end of the home. Okay, here on the front porch, we've got a beautiful country porch with plenty of space here. You can see the home is staged with two rocking chairs at the very end. And we actually have a really beautiful park-like setting here at this property. You're going to love this floor plan. And if you are a fan of one level living, I think you're really going to be impressed. Okay, as we come in here to the right, we have our dining area notice we have solid surface flooring throughout the entire home we have crown rolling and chair rail in this space directly ahead is going to be our secondary bedroom wing to the left of that our kitchen and of course our family room directly ahead to the left is a co-closet and i'm going to actually start off here at the bedroom wing. I'm gonna go down this direction and see what we have in store. This home of course has fresh paint and it even smells good. We're now in the front corner of the home. This is going to be bedroom number one. We are in the Tri-Cities area and we are convenient to for Greg Adams, for Greg Adams, for those of you that are not aware, was formerly known as Fort Lee. They have changed the name and a lot of people that live in this area actually work there at the military installation. Beautiful hall bath here, fiberglass tub shower, and we also have a linen closet right here. To my right is going to be bedroom number two. We are now in the rear of the home. Once again, we have a ceiling fan and solid surface flooring here throughout the entire home. So no carpeted surfaces. I've got some new equipment that I'll be trying out. So if you see some differences in today's video, that's why we're gonna be testing it out and making sure we know how to properly operate it. Here is our gorgeous kitchen. Of course, we have white cabinets, uh, granite countertops, nice vaulted ceiling, 
Nice and bright, we've got a combination of recessed and traditional lighting. Stainless steel appliances, our refrigerator with ice and water in the door, and our pantry located right here. All right, I'm gonna give you a shot here from the corner so you can see this nice open concept. We've got plenty of space there at the bar for bar stools and just a nice wide open space. And of course your dinette will go right here in front of me. I'm gonna pop out here to the back deck so you can see what we have in store. This is a unique feature here. I don't know if I've ever seen this. We have a door, a screen door, that you can pull straight across there and it's actually spring loaded, so it wants to go back into the wall there. So it's super convenient. If you wanna have the door open and get some nice fresh air without having to turn on the AC, uh, you can of course do so. This is an oversized deck and uh, we've got plenty of shade back here as well with some mature trees that actually look like they are in excellent health. All right, let's go back inside and see what else we have in store. Our exterior, of course, is low maintenance vinyl. So you shouldn't have any real issues with exterior maintenance. I love the volume that we have here uh, in this family room. Our focal point is the gas hog fireplace. And then we've got a little nook overhead uh, for your television. All right, we're going to go now and take a look at our primary bedroom wing. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to take you here downstairs into the garage first. Um, as we go towards the garage, we have our laundry room. That's going to be a gas fired water heater and our washer and dryer, of course. We've got natural light that can flow in here and our steps going down. Now, this is not just an ordinary garage. This is a unfinished garage however wait until I pan around so you can see exactly what we have here this is going to be under stair storage so we've got some good space there uh, you could actually do a workshop here uh, if you wanted to you've got a nice little nook where you could do uh, some shelving and some work bench type uh, arrangement and it would still not interfere with the garage doors and access for your vehicles all right, now here's where it gets good. We have a total of approximately six vehicles that could actually get into this massive garage. As you can see, it's pretty wide open. We've got a, a little space there for our heat pump, but all of this is wide open space. The previous owner looks like they had a home gym here. If you wanted to do a home gym, you could of course have an amazing home gym if you wanted to finish this area, this would be an absolute stunning family room, media room, craft room, storage. If you love to tinker with vehicles, you have plenty of space down here. I don't know the last time I saw a garage that was actually this big and uh, wide open. So very nice space here in this home. I know my northerners are just drooling right now. Uh, as you were well aware, we don't have a huge percentage of homes here in this area with garages, let alone that big and that nice. Okay, I'm now going to take you to our primary bedroom. And here we are. Directly ahead is our walk-in closet, our ensuite. We've got a nice vaulted ceiling once again, good natural light, and... Closet number two, right there in the middle of the screen. All right, this first closet is definitely no slouch. We are probably about uh, 10 feet, nine or 10 feet deep. So plenty of space there. And our ensuite bath, once again, has the recessed lights, the vaulted ceiling. We have the jetted tub here in the corner. And you could get, uh, you can get two people in there. Good natural light flows in there. Now look at this um, commode. This is actually a corner mount. So not an application that we see often, but I think it really works better than if you just mounted it flush against the flat wall there. 
Uh, so I think that was really good design, really nicely laid out. To the left is going to be our stand-up shower. Okay, all right, they did a good job there. I like that. And I'm gonna take you now over to the other side so you can see this other massive closet. Now this one has natural light because we do have that window there on the very front. And uh, plenty of closet space. Uh, there's just so much to love about this home. And uh, I think you will probably be just as impressed as I was. If you have questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I can be reached on Facebook under Rich Mary Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, I am still in the running for a few more days here through the end of July with the best of Richmond contest. If you'd be kind enough to text the vote and I'll put that information below in the description. Thanks so much for your support. I appreciate you. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.